Welcome to Mathematics with M's, grade 11, Exponential Equations Involving Factorization. Let's look at the first example here. Show that 5 times 2 to the power x plus 3 times 2 to the power x plus 2 is equal to 17 times 2 to the power x. And then hence, solve 5 times 2 to the power x plus 3 times 2 to the power x plus 2 equals to 68. That is in A. And in B, solve for x. If 9 to the power x plus 3 to the power 2x plus 1 equals to 4 times the square root of 3. And secondly, if 3 to the power 2x plus 6 times 3 to the power x minus 27 is equal to 0. Let's look at the first one. So far, so here we're dealing with the left hand side. Remember, we must apply that the we must prove that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. This is A number one. So what you do is in the first step is you split 3 times 2 to the power x plus 2 as 3 times 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 2. Then you can see that 2 to the power x is the common factor. What, then what is left in the bracket is 5 plus 3 times 2 to the power 2, which of course is 5 plus 2, which is 17. And there you are. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. Look at the second example. Uh, now we can solve. So already we know the left hand side is 17 times 2 to the power x. So just equate that to 68. Then divide both sides by 17. You get a 4. Then 4 is 2 squared. So therefore x equals to 2. So in the next example, we must solve for x. So 9 is 3 squared. Remember the prime number story. And square root of 3 is 3 to the power a half. Then, in the next step, you split 3 to the power 2x plus 1 as 3 to the power 2x plus 3 to the power, times 3 to the power of 1. Then 3 to the power 2x is your common factor, and you're left with 1 plus 3, which of course is 4. Right? Then, of course, you can divide both sides by 4, and then you're left with 3 to the power 2x equals to 3 to the power half. So, therefore, 2x equals to a half. Multiply, divide both sides by 2, and x equals to a quarter. Look at the second one. Note that the coefficients of the term in x in the exponents are different. So this is like a disguised trinomial. Note it might be helpful to revise the factorization of quadratic expressions before discussing this example. So please just take note of that, guys. But nevertheless, 3 to the power 2x, we can split as 3 to the power x. All of it to the power 2. A little bit of a different approach, as you can see. Then it looks like a trinomial. You can also use the K method. Look at the second set. Alternatively, you can also use the K method, where you can say, let 3 to the power X be equals to K. You can decide which method works for you. Let's go back to the one where we don't use K. Right? Then next, you factorize the trinomial like we normally do, and therefore, the first bracket equals to 0, or the second bracket equals to 0. So there you are, 3 to the power s equals to 3. 3's exponent is a 1, so therefore x equals to 1. In the next one, if you take the 9 over, it becomes a negative 9, and we know that is not allowed because 3 to the power x is something which is greater than 0. It's never negative. So that you must remember. So look at the alternate method where you use the k method. Please work through this exercise. It is important that you must practice, practice, practice. And then on the next page, I'll be giving you the solutions. Right, here are the solutions of the exercise. Please mark your work. And I hope you've benefited from this exercise. Enjoy. Uh, this is Ahmed Suleiman from uh, Mathematics with M's. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.